It's after hours, Kyle, here. And it's so after hours, I don't even have a watch on, which is bad for a big watch guy like me. Sorry, Tim Wright, if you're watching, I can't do a wristwatch check right now. Uh, but after hours, Kyle, here, sans jacket. I've been wa I want to do a really quick review on something I've been wanting to review for a long time. And that's this special bottle. This is Crown Royal Special Reserve. Now, for a long time, at least locally here, uh, this was really hard to find and you almost couldn't find it at all. I actually thought that they had gotten rid of it. Now, this bottle specifically, this one, this bottle is, I'm trying to remember, this was my, uh, this came from, this isn't my bottle. This is my brother-in-law's bottle which his dad gave him. And we cracked it recently when his dad came to visit. And so this bottle is like 20 years old or something like that. But for a, a really long time, you couldn't find this. Recently, at least here in Manitoba, I started seeing these special reserves on the shelves again. Uh, but there was a couple of years where I, I didn't see them. So I was really kind of bummed that I, I believe I had had this like 10 plus years ago or something like that. Uh, but then my brother-in-law, uh, he had one and we finally cracked it and I got to try it out when, when his dad came to visit and we were watching uh, some hockey uh, back a little while back. So uh, he's, uh, he, he's allowed me to have some. He's allowed me to sample some of his bottles, which some of the, are, well, I, I, a lot of the bottles here are his. Um, let's just leave it at that. Um, a lot of my bottles, at least, are either aren't on display or they're hidden. Uh, there might be a hidden whiskey room somewhere, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Maybe one day, uh, if we get to, you know, maybe 100,000 subs, you'll get to see that and maybe get to see the good bottles. Uh, or if I decide to crack them, then maybe I'll do a review on it. But either way, uh, I figured well, let's do a quick review while the brother-in-law isn't here. And uh, he's allowing, he's allowing access to the good stuff. So, Crown Royal Special Reserve. What? The, what's going on? This was just open recently. Why? Why is this? Okay, well, technical difficulties. Uh, I've never had that happen with a whiskey bottle ever. Uh, classic Crown Royal, gotta be stupid and have a screw top. I literally could not get this thing off, like for the life of me. Never had that before. And anyway, okay. Crown Royal Special Reserve. I'm gonna put the lid back on just so I don't spill anything while I read this to you. The jewel in the Crown Royal Special Reserve, or sorry, the jewel in the crown Crown Royal Special Reserve is a whiskey of such exceptional quality that its rich, smooth taste brings special moments to life. I'm not a Crown Royal hater. I appreciate it for what it is. It's literally made an hour and 10 minutes from my house, um, just up in Gimli. Uh, so like, it's good. But special reserve, uh, maybe this was like the premium uh, Crown Royal when, it, when this bottle was made. I don't know if the current special reserve still says this, but this isn't their most high-end stuff. Um, they've got XO, they've got um, some stuff that comes and goes. Uh, some of it I've had, some of it I haven't. Anyway, I don't think this is still considered the crown jewel in the crown of Crown Royal, uh, either way. So let's try it out. It is a pretty nice uh, whiskey, from what I remember. But I mean, put an asterisk there. Uh, it's still a Canadian. And I kind of have a love-hate relationship with Canadian whiskeys because to me, they all kind of taste the same. They all have that distinctly Canadian flavor, which I can only take so much of and then I kind of start to hate. So yeah, just don't expect Macallan 18 or something. 
on the nose. And I know you wouldn't expect Macallan 18 from a Canadian whiskey. I'm, nobody outside, people outside of Canada, at least what I see on YouTube in the communities, no one seems to have respect for Canadian whiskeys. They're always bourbon this, bourbon that, blah, 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 Macallan, Scotch, whatever, blah, blah, blah. There's no respect for Canadian, but yet, I don't know if it's just like an old school thing. Like when you watch Mad Men, Canadian was always revered. People loved Canadian. It was always Canadian Club, Crown Royal. Uh, I mean, Don Draper drank enough Canadian Club to take care of the whole Royal Canadian Navy, for God's sakes. Who was it that had Crown Royal in that show? It was either Lane or it was probably Roger. I want to say it was Roger, but Roger was a vodka guy, but either way. This on the pa or on the nose, sorry, not the palate. Smells of, you know, vanilla. The typical rye smell that you get from most Canadian ryes. It is a nice tasting Canadian whiskey. It's definitely better than the regular Crown Royal. Um, and again, I'm assuming the recipe, if you can find this bottle, is still the same as this one itself. I don't see why they would have changed it. Um, it is very good. It tastes just like a, a regular, and smells like a regular Canadian whiskey, but just a little bit, a few notches up, if you know what I mean. Crown Royal also, I haven't seen it for a while, but they used to make that, uh, it was in the same basic shape, and it's the same bottle as the XO, but it wasn't quite as expensive as the XO. It was called Limited. I want to say if the regular Crown Royal was 30-some dollars, I want to say the Limited was like 40-something. And I think this goes for, I want to say like 50 I can't, honestly, I can't remember. But then the XO, I, I think, goes for 50, 60. I, uh, but again, the Limited was a very good bottle for what it was. I, I'm partial to the Northern Harvest Rye. I think if you're going to go with any Crown Royal, and I haven't had Northern Harvest in a while, I'm due to buy a bottle of it. I think Northern Harvest Rye, which is like a pure rye, uh, and they leave it out in the fields over the winter with the snow, and then they harvest it in the spring, and then they make the whiskey from that. I think that's definitely better than just your regular Canadian uh, Crown Royal. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll take Crown Royal, but I'm not one of those guys that's like, oh yeah, I'll have a whiskey, Crown Royal. <laughs> I'm not drinking any of that other, that other garbage. I'm not one of those guys. You know what I mean? It's like some guys are specifically, I'll have a Crown Royal. It's like, no, I don't, I don't care. All the Gibsons, all the Wisers, I probably like Wisers more than cr regular Crown Royal. Maybe even Gibson's itself, but I'd probably say Gibson's and Crown Royal are basically the same. Um, people are probably going ballistic right now at me saying that, but either way, if you're going to go with a Crown Royal, do yourself a favor, listen to Jim Murray and go with the Northern Harvest Crown Royal if you're going to have any Crown Royal. But this one, it's very good uh, for what it is. I definitely appreciate having it as being this is like a 20 some year old bottle um, on, on the on the tongue on the palate I would say yeah it, it definitely tastes like like straw a little bit I want to say it's all I don't want to say it tastes like corn but it's just like it's no, I'm not going to say that. No, it's not corn. Sorry. Anyway, it is it is a good bottle. Uh, just wanted to do a little bit of review on this. Again, after hours, this is when we let loose. If I was wearing a tie right now, the tie would be loose, if not gone. Uh, so I would say if you can find this, I would say I would say definitely pick one up. It's definitely worth it just because of how special it is. It's very hard to find. Uh, it comes and goes. You don't see it very often. Something a little bit unique. Check it out. It definitely does have that kind of more typical Crown Royal flavor profile and smell, but it definitely is better than the regular Crown Royal. Regular Crown Royal, this for, I mean, most people do use it for mixing. That's, I mean, I would still drink it straight, I guess, but it's not gonna be my first choice. Uh, if, if I'm gonna drink Crown Royal again, I'm gonna go with the, drink it straight. I'm gonna go with the Northern Harvest or, or this. 
Uh, I haven't had the XO. I should I should probably buy a bottle. Yeah, I'm just scared to spend money on Canadian whiskeys because they're always the same and most of the time they let me down. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm going to go since it's after hours. The sun's probably going to come up in any minute now. Uh, I'm going to go get some sleep. And uh, we will catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. I always really appreciate it. Your time is valuable. And so anytime you spend watching these videos, I'm thankful. So thank you. We'll see you next time.